Hey guys, what's going on? Jeez. That door is absolutely ridiculous because the bolt is on the opposite side. Do you ever wonder how I actually get in that thing? Anyways, um, I'm Ryan. I've been hacking things my whole life. When I was um, a young, brand new dad, my kids, uh, both daughters, um, couldn't do Pinewood Derby Boy Scouts. Um, the raced. So um, I made them a little track for their Thomas the Tank Engine cars. And the track was about six feet long. This is the track, actual track that was made. It still exists. I mean, it still works. And I folded it out and we put it on the table and we raced Thomas the Tank Engines, uh, those little trains for uh, hours and hours and hours and so I've had a passion for that so ever since I um, started working with data analytics I wanted to do in design of experiments I wanted to do a test on how to make the fastest pine wood derby car so that is a very involved process involving a track and involving everything else but the first thing that I need to be able to do is be in control of how to make a car so today we're going to be making a laser cut car um, and a Lamborghini and we're going to be doing that and I'm going to be able to show you for the first time um, part of the track that I had designed so that eventually I can get qualifying times and design the fastest um, Pinewood Derby car in the world and look at the science behind it. All right, let's do this now. Okay, um, I'm gonna get on to designing the car in uh, Illustrator, cutting it out on the laser, painting it, and then aligning the wheels to take it down the track. But I need to tell you a few things um, first. So the um, first thing is I have this t-shirt. Um, I'm gonna tell you how you can get that t-shirt. That is going to be by submitting a car for this derby that I'm going to be putting on. It's going to be an online derby. I'm going to use Zoom to do it. You can design the car as long as they're in the standard design um, for the first round. We'll do an experimental design the next round. I'll announce this on my channel. So the car has to be seven inches long, two and three quarter inches um, two and three quarter inches wide. And there's some other specifications that, that I will announce. I'm calling this the Maker Derby so that we can eventually do all types of things um, and make them all out of all really, really cool designs. So I'm building a full track right now. I'm testing the cars on a curved track, which is I've never seen done before. Um, so this is really, really exciting. So I hope that you're involved with that. The, any winner of a heat that sends in the car gets this t-shirt and they also get acknowledgement on my channel. So if this is something that if you're starting the YouTube channel, uh, my channel is not that big, but it's, uh, it's growing. So maybe I can announce your name. Second thing is, so I just designed this logo today and I've always wanted to do this. So I want you to be part of it. So that's really cool. Man, these glasses are dirty. Anyways, I hope you're doing well. Um, okay. Uh, another thing is, well, I already covered the curved track. The track is going to be built um, over time. It's very involved, even to get it to the point where it's at right now, that is taking some effort. Okay, so now let's talk about this design. I first laid out the car in Illustrator. I drew the actual shape of the car. I went ahead and made a box that was seven inches wide and two and three quarter inches tall, and I kind of worked within this box. And then I built up the different layers that was gonna be done inside of the laser cutter. Um, I do have some changes to this car. You can download the digital file below, like all of my files, but I went ahead after running a couple tests and seeing what was going to be happening. I did an experimental design 
where I tested a bunch of different cars using design of experiments, which um, the software that I use, Jump, that is uh, some data analytics software. You can test out all the different variabilities in terms of where the weight is at placed in the back and all these different things, the, whether or not you use polished axles or non-polished and all types of things. And I built a car based on that and I took the best settings, but I went ahead and made some more adjustments to, um, to that car. So after I got it designed out, I went ahead and laser cut it, and then I started to assemble it and glue it. I wish I would have worn gloves on this, even though this glue is the Type Bond 2, and even though that it's not the weatherproofing glue, it's really hard to get off your hands. I wish I would have used um, leather gloves, not leather, but the regular gloves right now, the rubber gloves that seem to be out of stock. I did make a jig that held the car together when I was uh, gluing it. Um, and then I went ahead to the painting uh, of the car. I um, used an airbrush um, at first. You can tell that I did a little bit more painting after I was done. I basically did sort of used um, this sort of uh, wet stroke technique where I wet stroke technique where I kind of burn it in George Lucas um, in Star Wars t gives the look of all the battleships um, he coins that term old universe and so I kind of like that look anyways um, I did um, laser cut some plastic acrylic wheels that go on the outside so they're actually not ones that roll um, there's some actually interesting rims that are on the outside um, that, uh, that uh, I know we're looking at the painting and I'm talking about the rims right now, but um, we, uh, so I thought that was good and the, the, the car ended up, um, once I aligned the wheels, the car ended up going down the track really nicely. So painting it was an absolute joy. I really, I really love this airbrush. Um, I have a painting station set up that has vacuum below so I could do some light sanding and suck out the paint from that area. I basically built a maker's cabinet with sanding areas and a thermoformer and some other thing. I'll do a video on that. So after I've kind of painted it, I um, added the wheels and I went um, to the track. Um, and like I said, when I was on the track, it started to curve to the left. So I simply just used with um, my, used my hand and adjusted, make sure all the level of the wheels was correct. And then I basically gave it an alignment by, by pulling the wheels this way or back. And I was able to align that. Next time I probably will do um, a little bit more sanding on top. Um, the car weighs in right now at, um, at 5.6 ounces and I think I'm going to drop some ounces by taking out a section here in the design. So if you purchase this design, the material will be exactly at the standard weight that it, need to be, it needs to be. But if you could take a Forstner bit and just remove it from the front because the weight, the experiments is, and what everyone knows on the web, you want a lot of maximum weight and you want the weight to be in the back so there's less friction pulling down. Um, so that's really exciting. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this um, Maker Derby. I hope that you can be part of it. I will announce more when it comes. I do have a makers group I started online that meets on Tuesday night at 7.30. If you look on the Meetup app, it's called Maker Makers Online. So you're welcome to join that and join the call if you, wanna, if you have any questions, if you just wanna meet me and uh, talk. I would love for you to do that. So again, the um, meetings are Tuesday night at 7.30, Makers Online. Um, and in the future, if that group um, doesn't end up working out um, in terms of participation, so far it's been really fun. We've had tons of people um, all over the country. I'm hoping to get people all over the world to join and talk about what they're making. So meanwhile, whatever you do, make something that connects someone else and please be part of this Makers Derby. I'm looking forward to all your, my address is below. You'll send a car, we'll race it, and we're gonna really have fun. It's gonna get really exciting very soon. All right. Peace. Love you. Um, and uh, just hang in there right now. I'll talk to you. Whatever you do, make something. Bye.